Good morning. Today we are going to talk about graphing systems of linear inequalities. So if you understood how to do this for one, then you should be fine with um, doing what we're going to do today when we have a system of them. So it says, the question would say something like, what are the solutions to the system of inequalities? And your answer is actually going to look like a graph. Okay, so if you follow along the steps, the first thing we're going to do is graph the first inequality. So we're going to ignore the second one completely. All right, so this is in slope intercept form, which is really nice. Y equals mx plus b. So I'm just going to act like that's an equal sign for right now, just to see where the line goes. All right, so my y intercept is negative 2, so I'm going to put a dot at negative 2. My slope, the coefficient of x, is a 1. And so I like to make that a fraction, so I do rise over run. All right, up one over one, up one over one. I'm going to do this for a little bit. And then I also like to do it down here. So obviously if I was going this way, it would keep going. And now I have to look and see if it should be a dotted or a solid line. Because I don't have a line underneath here, because this says y is greater than, and it doesn't say greater than or equal to, then I just go ahead and make it a dotted line. And usually that's like, looks like this with dashes. Okay, and then I have to test a point to figure out what I'm gonna, which, which side I'm gonna shade. I'm either gonna shade, shade above the line or I'm gonna shade below the line. All right, and so I'm gonna plug in the origin, zero, zero. So if I were to fill this in, it would say zero is greater than zero minus two. Well, this is gonna end up being negative two. Is zero bigger than negative two? Yes, it is. So I'm gonna shade this side. Now you don't want to do this with a marker or something. You want to do it kind of lightly. Okay. All right, so that's step one. Step two is to do the same thing, graph this inequality in shade. So now we have to completely ignore that line, okay? So once again, this is in slope intercept form. We like that. The y-intercept is one. It's really hard to see my lines here. And the slope here is negative one. So that's negative one over one. So instead of going up one, I'm gonna go down one. Down one, right one. Down one, right one. Down one, right one. Down one, right one. And then, now let me go back. Should this be a dotted line or a solid line? Because it has this line underneath, this needs to be a solid line here. All right, and now I'm still ignoring this other information and I have to test a point. Well, I can test the origin. The only time I can't test the origin is if the line that, I'm, that I just drew is going through the origin. So I'm gonna say zero is less than or equal to negative zero or zero plus one. Is zero less than one? Yes, it is. So the origin is true, so I'm gonna shade over here. Now my answer is the section that's double shaded. So you can see that this section right here is double shaded. So this is my answer. So sometimes like when you're creating this, this is what it's gonna look like. It's gonna look like a double shaded section. But if you were to see this in a, a book or something that somebody wasn't hand making, you should just see this section. So you won't see these lighter shades, okay? And so sometimes, most of the time, if your teacher is asking you to do this, this is what they want for an answer because the solution to the system is all the points that are in this double shaded region, right? You can't possibly list them. So a picture says what your answer is. Occasionally, if this was a multiple choice test, you know, you, they may put several different coordinates and if it was multi-select, you know, they might say, Let's say 5, 1, uh, 3, 4, negative 1, 0, negative 5, 1. Okay, let's say they gave you some points. Actually, there's, and there's another one I want to show you too. Whoops. Okay, 0, 1, and I want to show you one more. So many things I have to share with you guys. 
Okay, so let's pretend that you had to do all of this work and here were options and you had to multi-select, you had to choose which of these coordinates were solutions to the system. So let's check here, five one. Well, five one's gonna be over here. That is definitely not in the double shaded region. Three, one, two, three, four, definitely not in the double shaded region. Negative one, zero. Okay, that is in the shaded region. So that would be a solution to the system. Here, negative five, one, that's in the double shaded region. That's a solution to the system. But what I really wanted to point out to you was something like this, zero, one. You see how that ends up on the line and that line was a solid line? That means it's included. Zero, negative two, zero, negative two. Now it's on the line, but this line was dotted. So it is not included. All right, usually if it's in the double shaded, you're good to go. And then you just have to look if it's actually on one of those lines, you have to look and see if it is a solid or dotted line. Okay? Okay, so here we go. Y equals MX plus B, once again, slope intercept form, really nice. Now I noticed that there's no Y intercept. Well, that's okay, it just means the Y intercept is a zero. All right, so don't let that stress you out. All right, so I have zero. And now this is two over one. So I rise two, run one, rise two, run one, rise two, run one, down. And let's look, is this a dotted or solid line? This is gonna be a dotted line. So I'm just gonna. Okay, and then we have to test a point. Let's test zero, zero is zero. Oh no, I can't test zero, zero because it's going through the origin. So I cannot test that point, but I can test any point that is not on the line. And I kind of like to make my math easy. So why not? Um, well, I'm going to test two, one. I just picked a random point right here. And if we get a true statement, we know we have to shade on this side. And if we get a false statement, we have to shade over here. Okay. So I'm testing the point two, one. So two is my X value and one is my Y value. One is less than two times two. Okay, double check that. X was two, Y is one. Is one less than four? Yes, it is. So I'm gonna shade on this side. Okay, let's try this one here. Y is greater than negative three. Okay, so, oh, I don't have an X here. I don't have a, uh, sorry, I don't have a slope. So I know I kind of freak out at first when I look at this and I'm like, oh my gosh, how do I graph this? But remember, we had lines like this before, Y equals negative three. And so what would that look like? You would just have a, that's where it's going through the Y intercept. So you'd go down to negative three and it would go straight across this way, okay? Um, so it is gonna be a dotted line, and I'm gonna go back and explain that a little bit more in case you're not sure. Um, so now I have to test a point. I can test the origin. Is zero greater than negative three? Yes, zero is greater than negative three. So I'm gonna shade above the line. and my double shaded region, that's the part I care about. This part right here, all of those answers, all of these coordinates, these points in this double shaded region, those will work. Those will fit and those are all possible solutions. So let me go back to this Y is greater than negative three thing. Um, before, when we had a line like this, y is equal to negative three, I told you guys that I always got confused by that, and I know in my head that it's either going to be a horizontal line or a vertical line. If I see x equals and or y equals, I know it's going to be one of these ways, and I always seem to get confused. So the way that I can unconfuse myself is I say, okay, let me make up just three points, and I can make up any three points I want except for the y is going to be negative three. All right, negative three, negative three, negative three. Now I don't want to graph crazy things, so I'm just gonna make up zero, one, two. And I'm gonna plot those points. Zero, negative three, one, negative three, two, negative three. Yep, they're all on this line right here. Now I can tell you most of my students are like, that's crazy, Miss Knight, you're doing way too much work. And all they do is they say, I go to the Y, 
negative three. So on the Y, they go to negative three and they draw a line through it. All right, either way, we'll get you the right answer. All right, so let's move on to one over here. Y is greater than negative X plus two. All right, slope intercept form. So the Y intercept is two, put a dot, the slope is negative one. Down one over one, down one over one. I'm gonna make this a solid line. And now I'm gonna test the origin because the line's not going through it, I can test the origin. Okay, zero is greater than or equal to two. Is zero greater than two? It's not. So then I have to test on the, I have to shade on the other side. All right, over here, I'm gonna graph this. My y-intercept is negative two. My slope is negative one over one. Whoop. Oh, that should not be a full line, it should be dotted. Let's go back and fix that. Dotted, dotted, dotted. Okay. All right. So we're now the, this should be looking weird too. Wait a second. These lines look parallel. Okay. So we have to ignore it. We're not. We're not even looking at this yet. We're just focusing here. All right. I can test the origin because the origin is not on this line. All right. So I plug zero is less than negative two. Is zero less than negative two? No, it's not. So I cannot shade in where the origin is. I have to shade the other side. Now remember, my solution to the system is wherever the two sides overlap, where there's double shading. Do you see how there's no double shading? So that means the solution, there is no solution to this system because there is no double shaded sections, okay? All right, you guys, I think you'll, once you get the gist of this, you'll be fine. Bye-bye.